If you have one of these saws, you know what's going to happen. <laughs> and it always happens, and it happens all the time. And you're like me, you hate it when it happens because you don't you know what you got to do. And you know the drill. Okay, a macho piece of metal. It's stalled. The lower wheel is turning. It's going. Okay. Now, why is this happening? Well, it's just a little bitty window here. <clears throat> See, I had this little idler wheel up against those teeth there, and it's oh man, it's probably a year old. It's gnawed away at that, and that's got to screw through it to set the tension. It's got a little groove to get this bar. All these saws are a little bit different. Okay. Going backwards now. So you see, with the addition of that little roller, well, it makes life a lot nicer if you got one of these saws, because they all do this. I have one, it does it, this one does it, and the one in the other room, the jet does it. Probably a lot of these saws in the world. So, that in mind, you see it took the took the screw out of here, just bent. You bend these things just to give it a little profile so these dimples bite on there and it's not gonna pop open on you. Okay, so we're gonna put this back in here now. Just so it looks like we might want to just set the blade, make sure everybody's up against that wheel. Anyway, so <clears throat> you just pop that little critter in there and make sure you get a nice tension on that roller. And you can see blade stop, the roller's going. We could do this all day, so you can't, you can't, you can't do this thing in the tender, but isn't that nice? You never have to hear that. Credit sound again. You can see this is 